All right, so October 29th, Anderson Silva is supposed to be going at Jake Paul. Or Jake Paul is supposed to be going at Anderson Silva. Which, which ever one you want to say. All right, this is how I feel about this fight. I don't care. Not in the not in the slightest, right? I I care about it so much that I I don't care, and it's so much not care that look, you got MMA fighters coming over just to get a a, a boxing check. That's all. So so let me explain. I don't I don't feel that any of these fighters that Jake Paul has knocked out. Have, he's actually knocked out. Now, I'm not hating on Jake Paul at all. But I'm. this is what I mean. I mean, like, not knocked out. Like, I'm not saying that he didn't knock him out. Because he did, obviously, clearly. It's on camera. But my personal opinion is this. You got an MMA fighter. These, these are legends in the sport. Like, Tyrone Woodley. And now Anderson Silva. You got like all these MMA fighters trying to come over here and getting that boxing money. And like, this is what's going on. These guys are getting like 100, 200 grand fighting at the UFC. If that. This is what, I, this is what, this is facts. Everybody knows that you come over to boxing to get the checks, right? So UFC you making a hundred grand. You come over to boxing, you making ten mil. Okay, like so. Anderson Silva been making a hundred grand, two hundred grand on these fights, and he's like, "Wait a minute, what? I'll get how much? Ten mil? Uh, to do what? Oh, okay. Now, now." You probably be like, well, did, are you trying to insinuate? <laughs> are you trying to insinuate that Jake Paul is possibly saying, hey, you come over here, I give you 10 million, all you gotta do is just lay flat? Am I saying that? No, I'm not saying that, but um <laughs> If you were making 200 grand a fight in MMA where your leg could be broken, ribs busted, nose busted, concussion, choked out, submission, wrestling, and doing all this crazy stuff for a $200,000 check, and you got gloves that's like four ounce, whatever that crap is, four ounce glove. It's not even a glove, basically. You know what I'm saying? Somebody kicking you, kneeing you, kneeing you in the face. You know what I'm saying? For 200 grand and you could come over to boxing where they got gloves. You got, uh, you know, a cup. <laughs> I don't even think they got cups for real in the MMA. And I haven't seen them. Then they must be like, you know what I'm saying? But look, they got cups. They got mouth guards. Gloves, refs, decent, somewhat refs, sometimes refs. Come on, man. And and then you get paid endorsement deals, all this type of stuff. UFC, you don't get jack besides a monster at the end of your fight. <laughs> That's all you get. Dana White giving you a monster. <laughs> I, I, no, no, let me tell you. That's, I'll take the monster too, you know what I'm saying, for the YouTube, but I'll be sitting at the house. These guys risking their lives for a monster can and 200 grand. These dudes, they come over to boxing, $10 million check. So that's what I care about. That's the only thing that I actually care about. I personally feel that Jake Paul, the Logan Paul, the whole Paul thing played out but am i gonna watch it heck yeah <laughs> because i feel like it's about to be hilarious again yeah we're going look this is what's gonna happen y'all watch this is what's gonna happen 
Jake Paul is about to knock out Anderson Silva. Listen to me. And I hate it, though, because it's another legend that's going to get knocked out in the ring. And everybody's going to be like, oh, bro. Anderson Silva is at least 72 years old. You hear me? 70. He OK. Maybe he's not 72. He's but he is like 71 and a half, though, for facts. He's going to be wheelchairing it into the ring. And y'all going to be like, oh, and Jake Paul just knocked out. And no, he did not. He he knocked out like the great, great grandpa version of Anderson Silva. But Anderson Silva is going to be on his resume, though. And Anderson, you you wrong for getting in the ring like this, man. You a grandpa. You need to go ahead and be on a porch somewhere with your grandkids. Man, he about to get knocked out. That's the crazy thing. Anderson, listen to me. Anderson Silva is about to get knocked out in the ring. Now, if Anderson Silva doesn't get knocked out and it goes the distance, then nobody's going to care about it anyway. And then they're going to be like, and then they're, they're not going to say, oh, we want the rematch. They're going to be like, oh, that was a boring fight, blah, blah. So, you know, to sell tickets, Anderson Silva's got to go down. In order for this Paul thing to keep going, Anderson Silva's got to go down. Anderson probably already got another payday. He probably got a $10 million to show up and then he probably got $5 million to lay flat. Yeah. Now, so listen to me. If Anderson Silva gets laid out flat, y'all know. Y'all heard it first. From where? Huh? Anybody talking about this? Anybody? Anybody saying this? You heard it first on Shoot the Jack. That's all I'm saying. Now, if uh, now if Anderson beats Jake Paul flatline, right? Like if he knocks him out, then I'll be like, okay, this is real. Maybe, maybe Jake Paul actually did uh, lay out Tyrone Woodley. Like if Anderson Silva really does knock out Jake Paul cold, then I say this is real. But until, until Jake Paul gets knocked out, this is all fake. This is fake. Look, it's like, it's even faker than WWE in my opinion. I'm talking about Stone Cold Steve Austin busting cans now, have you ever hit yourself with a, a full can of beer on your head? That's fake. Man, try, try it. <laughs> I double dog dare you to take a full Budweiser can, Bud Light at that, as a full one, and bust it upside your head and see if beer comes out. I bet you it doesn't. I bet you. <laughs> I bet you you be in a coma. <laughs> you be in a coma on the ground like, but Stone Cold did it. Stone Cold's not real. <laughs> and neither is Jake Paul. So with that being said, as always, peace, well, love. Uh, we out of here.